What it do in the box flow media presents, you know the boy whipping it up. I ain't got a name yet, but it's just something I'm doing right now. As soon as I come up with a name, we're gonna get a name. If you help me out, you help me out. Put it in the comments or send me in the DM. Right now we're making a uh, mushroom fettuccine noodles. Alfredo or whatever you want to call it. Everything from scratch, natural. Right now I'm cooking the broccoli. I'm not cooking it, but I'm finna prep it, cut it up a little smaller, season it. And I'm gonna show you as we go. So be back with you. All right, back, clean the broccoli. So what I'm doing now, oh, I gotta get a knife. You gotta be careful, you know what I'm saying? This can't, everybody can't use knives. You know what I mean? It's a very sharp knife. So what I'm gonna do is cut this a little bit smaller. I'm cooking for a family. I'm just, this is me and my, my significant auto, you know what I mean? There's somebody that I love bigger than life. So what we doing right now, I'm just gonna make it a little bit smaller. Make the broccoli a little bit smaller. Hold up, I gotta get my pan and be right back. I got my pan. This is about the size I'm putting it in. So I ain't gonna, should I just, I'm thinking about, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna put it in two separate pans so that way it, it's two servings. You know what I mean? So they want, yeah, it, it didn't make more sense. Don't like that though, for sure. so, yeah, I'm just basically cutting up the broccoli, making a serving. You probably do three servings. Like four. So it's just what I'm doing. Right. Ain't trying to be greedy. This is the first time he. steps if, it's, if you like what you see i most definitely give you the recipe it's simple you know what i mean for real, for real. it's not even like something i'm about to it's something i'm gonna add my flavor to but it's still something you can use it's not like it's gonna be serious or difficult to use so what i'm gonna do is finish cutting this broccoli up in the serving then i'm gonna, we're gonna be back for the next step you hear me so I got like all my broccoli cut up in each pan, which is three pans. Uh, so now you got to, I'm about to melt this butter in this pan right here. It's plain oats, olive oil, and sea salt. It's whatever you choose. I just got this to give it a little flavor. Like I said, it's a small meal for me and my significant other. So I'm gonna go ahead and melt this, and I'm gonna come back to you to show you where, this, where we got to, you feel me? All right, I forgot to tell you in my olive oil, sea salt, uh, butter I'm melting for the broccoli. I put pepper and I put garlic powder, garlic salt, and cajun inside of it. You know what I mean? So to give it is the flavor that I'm gonna get, that I'm trying to give to it. So it don't really take that much. You know what I mean? Just a little bit. You just spray it over the broccoli like that. You see? You spray it over the broccoli. Don't be like me. I don't have enough butter. I got one block. Some told me you got more, but it's cool. It's on. It's cool. Don't make sure you have enough butter for your flavor. I'll be right back. Next step is what I'm going to do is this is what I'm gonna give what I'm trying to do is flavor, right? So I'm gonna put this all over the three pans of broccoli. Mmm, man, you just don't know. Like, do not ever miss this step, bro. This is what gonna set it off bro it's hidden battery ranch powder ranch like it's gonna set it off bro so don't do not i repeat you got to get this and you got to you have to i'll be back so you see it you just miss it just make sure you get all over you make sure all the balls you just marinate it's all it's, it's, it's simple man it's really simple you know what i mean that's about a kid can make this you know what i mean this is real simple I just want you to mix them up, you know what I'm saying? And then put the luma foil on top and then you throw it in the oven. All right, so look, you know, I already cleaned the corn. You're going to do the same process with the corn, right? So you're going to take your pan, in, you feel me, put it in. I'm definitely going to make this like some Cajun type shit, season, just per person. So you just basically put it in. Oh, shit, I, I want some corn ribs, but I ain't going to make it corn ribs today. So basically put it in. This gonna, you're going to use this season too, you feel me? But you're going to wait till you season it with everything else that you need to season with, right? So, I'll be back. 
This is an easy process with the corn. I'm not gonna add the butter to the corn. I'm just gonna add the flavor and they're gonna do what they do. This is like garlic salt, garlic powder, cajun. This is what I'm kind of all missing one. I'm just putting it all on the corn. You know what I mean? I, I ain't wanna skip the steps. I'm gonna try to see what I'm doing. So put it all on the corn. If it you do both, whatever how many servings you cooking. You can use butter, and I'm not saying you don't have to use butter, but I'm just telling you, it's not like a need right now. You ready? It's not a need right now, bro. These juice is gonna pump itself. So, this is what I'm doing, just seasoning, whatever season you like to your taste. It's never too much season, bro. You can't, salt different, but this right here is never too much season. It can't, it can't, it's never too much season. You know what I mean? All right, so this is what I'm gonna do with that. I'm done with that, then you know, like I told you, this is the specialty. So I'm gonna put that over that. I'm gonna be right back with you. Everything wrapped up with perfection. Now I'm just taking them in the oven with it. And let it do what it do. You're gonna see how it's gonna come out. When it do what it do, it's gonna, it gonna look like money. You know what I'm saying? Let it do what it do. All right, so I got the corn and I got the broccoli in. I'll be right back. I got to do some cleaning. I'm cutting up my onions and bell peppers. I mean, I don't know if y'all want to see me cut it. It ain't like I'm a professional to cut it. But I get a little dose. Onions and bell peppers. We're going to go in the mushrooms. You ready? Yeah, I'm eating mushrooms. Fettuccine, I said that, right? So I'm gonna dice the onions and bell peppers to small serving. I'll show you once I'm done. So what we gotta do now, mushrooms, I'm gonna wash them, clean them, and I'm gonna season them, and I'm gonna make sure I cut them a little bit smaller. It's not a big serving. I'm just gonna make sure I cut them a little bit smaller though. And I'll be right back with you. So now I'm about to add my noodles, which is baby chini noodles. I'm gonna use this water, right? And uh, I'm gonna go ahead saute my mushrooms inside one of the pans too as well so I'm gonna keep it posted I'll be back with you I'll show y'all a look this is my fettuccine well this is not the noodles the mushroom the onion and bell peppers I put like garlic powder garlic salt pepper no the butter and horse sauce horse sauce right just to give it flavor I'm gonna cook it to a soft brown then I'm gonna start my other process which is my cheese so people look, so now what we doing, I got my mushrooms soft, it's still close to raw. You know, I don't want to take my nutrients out of my vegetables. That's why I don't think five to six man, it's 18 to 15. So what I'm about to do is add the butter, add the butter to the pot. I'm gonna put the mushroom back in there, which is my meat. Then I'm gonna add the cream. I'm gonna add the, the, half, the half cream. And I'm gonna be back right with you. I'm gonna show you how to look. I wanna show you, like right, this is, we gonna make with the cream mushrooms, which is my meat. Uh, so the noodles still back that cooking. I gave it a little flavor. I added salt, pepper, uh, you know, all the other seasoned Cajun, garlic powder, stuff like that. Half my half, a little alfredo. But everything is really a natural process. So the corn and stuff still cooking. Uh, I'll be right with you when the finished product. We got a couple more things that we gotta add to it. See, we're moving it, man. Things coming in better. That's that's season. That sauce is so fucking fuzzy good. She can come my lane. The noodles are more down. I'm about to put everything in the pan to stay posted. All right, so now I'm about to take the noodles out, drain them, put them in the pan, put the sauce, put the parmesan, and I'm going to show you the finish test before I put it in the oven. Adding my parmesan, y'all. I just had to show you this. I forgot. Adding the parmesan. Got to throw the cheese on top of it. I put the parmesan, we're gonna throw the cheese on top, then we're gonna slap it in the oven, you feel me? I'm gonna show you the last minute product once it gets done. All right, what's up, people? The finish the touches, I'm about to show you. I cooked my broccoli too long, but it's cool, it's cool. I hate it, because I don't like to cook my vegetables all the way through. I even like to cook it raw, but I'm about to show you. This is the finished touches, little parsley on top. I just cooked my, I hate my broccoli being cooked all the way through, but this is perfect. Exactly how we want it. I love it. I'm about to shout out. Appreciate, appreciate y'all for enjoying the cook video with In The Boss Flow Media. You already know we the Black Clark King. Howdy now. Peace and love, baby. You already know.